A couple weeks ago, I went to the milk makeup launch party for this foundation and I actually already filmed this video and my audio was messed up. It's so frustrating because the video was actually pretty damn good and I um, happened to scrap it and redo it. This is why I'm super late. No, this video is not sponsored. Yes, I kind of already have an opinion because I already filmed this and it was first impressions, so this is not a first impressions anymore. I, I kind of know what's up, but I'm going to let you guys see it all day and make an opinion for yourself and see if you actually like it and want to spend the money. I have a couple missing because they're in my makeup bag, but I have the full, oops, okay, the full 16 <laughs> collection of all the shades. I'm not going to swatch all of them because doing that doesn't really make much sense, but I will swatch the lightest and the darkest and let you guys know what color I am so you can kind of get an idea of how light this goes and how deep this can go. I know there are a lot of girls out there that only have like one foundation shade for them from one brand and they feel like every other brand leaves them out. I really hope more brands kind of like see what's going on and start including everybody's skin tone in everyone's favorite foundation. You know what I mean? It's only fair. The lightest shade I have is fair and the deepest shade I have is deep. They do say actually shake it up, which I didn't know. Probably not throw it. Just for the sake of getting the full brand's idea, concept, I'm gonna use the primer that goes along with the collection, the blur stick. I have mixed feelings about this. I can't decide if it's a placebo effect that I feel like it's erasing pores and blurring or if it's actually doing it. I do have to say, I wish it was easier to apply. I feel like I kind of have to tug my skin a little bit to get product. Like sometimes I feel like nothing's coming out, but I don't know, some people really love it. So I feel like I love it too, but it's like one of those things. I don't know if it's actually doing anything or if it's in my mind. Doing a shade test really quick. Today I am a shade of light medium, or I would say that's equivalent to a MAC NC30. That's always like my go-to reference because I feel like everyone knows their MAC shade. With the launch of their foundation, they launched the Little Silly Sponge, which I love the idea of this so much that you don't have to buy this over and over again like the Beauty Blender, that it's so easy to clean, it's really easy to store, and it's supposed to just like glide it on without wasting any product. But every time I use this, it feels so gross on my skin. Like it feels like I'm rubbing a condom on my face and that's just like not what I wanna do. But I'm going to try it again. I might end up using my fingers because you're not supposed to use a beauty blender with this. It is a water-based foundation. So a sponge like the beauty blender is gonna soak it all up. So it's the worst thing you can use to apply this. You're not gonna like this foundation if you use a beauty blender. Oh, this just feels so gross. I hate the silly sponge. Oh, it's just, ugh. As you can see, this foundation is really full coverage. So probably one of the most full coverage foundations I have, and I do have to give it to them that it feels like I'm wearing a tinted moisturizer, but I'm getting the coverage of a Kat Von D like cream foundation. Um, so that's cool, but it is very matte, which some people love. Some people look great in matte. I have dry skin and I have texture to my skin, and I have baby hair on my skin. And something like a matte foundation just clings to it and just ruins my life. So that's the issue I have with this, is I like dewy foundations, and this is a matte foundation. Getting control with the Silly Sponge, not easy. Like, how am I supposed to not get this all over my brows right now? Zooming you in so you can kind of see what's happening, it's like, repelling my dry patches and it's kind of like floating on it in like a weird way. I do have to say I love it right here and around my nose because that's where I have the most redness and I don't have like problem skin right here. I don't have a lot of pores, I don't have texture, I don't have hair, I don't have dry skin, I don't really get oily right here. This is kind of like my my gold area and it looks beautiful here. And it feels like nothing on my skin, which I really admire because the worst thing is when like your skin feels heavy and clogged. It's just applying it that feels really gross to me and really wrong. Here is one layer, not set with anything. I honestly don't even need to set it with powder because it is so matte. I could just throw this on in the center of my face if it matched really well and kind of just leave the house and have it stay all day. I know it's going to do something like that. 
But for me, with my texture and the baby hair on my face and my dry skin, I'm interested to see how it's going to wear throughout the day today and show for you. The only matte concealer I have is the NARS Soft Matte, which I love. This is in shade Vanilla, which is definitely gonna be too light for me, but I'm just gonna throw this underneath my eyes for a little concealing, just, just, just because. Why not? Never really use matte concealers underneath my eyes, but that looks pretty good. Gonna set my face with the NARS Translucent Powder. Again, I don't feel like this needs powder, but for the sake of it being worn all day, we're gonna powder it. Throwing on a little bit of a Too Faced bronzer in dark chocolate. I think this step showing you powders applied on it is really important because that way you can actually see if it holds other makeup or like repels it or makes it look like muddy or weird or like sometimes like it'll like attach to one spot, not the other spots. So I got you, we're gonna see powder on this foundation, which I have to say looks really good. Throwing on a little Nude Pop by Clinique. Let's just do that right here. On the Anastasia, just, I broke this. Um, powder, quad, whatever highlight thing I'm using. I think if this is Sunburst or Starburst, it's like the yellow light one. And with their brush, just going to pop this. Ooh, yes right here. Last step for the skin, setting my face with the Urban Decay, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Why can't I say decay? Face is on, we are good to go. It is a little bit later than I wanted to start. It's noon, it's noon, I don't think you can see, but I know you'll trust me. I'm gonna check in with you guys and yeah, I will see you in a couple hours. Nine o'clock, can we get a visual on that? So it's been nine hours and honestly, it held up, I mean, this foundation holds up really well. It looks almost the exact same. I took three photos. So one photo was at one and it was in natural light. And you can see it looks very beautiful in photos, both in natural, next one's in flash. Again, I think it still looks really nice. My face does look like it has a little bit of like a white cast, but that's not the foundation's fault. I'm actually like a different shade on my face than the rest of my body because of my spray tan. It comes off my face in like two days, but it stays on my body for a week. It's an issue, but not the foundation's fault, not an actual white cast. The last photo I took was at six o'clock and I took it because it was when I first started to notice the foundation kind of leaving my face around my nose. You can see that there's like some redness and it's just not as perfect as it was six hours ago. And it didn't really change too much since that. And honestly, it still held up better than almost all of my other foundations. I just get a lot of redness around my nose. I will start with the pros. First, the foundation is very long lasting. Second, the foundation is very comfortable. As I said in the beginning, it feels like a tinted moisturizer when you wear it. It doesn't feel like a heavy foundation. It doesn't feel like you have a bunch on your face, but you're getting something that's really full coverage. Three, it looks really great in photos, both flash and daylight photos. My toilet's making a noise, can you hear that? Four, even though I have dry skin, I still get oily throughout the day normally. And with this foundation, I noticed that I really didn't have any kind of an oil problem. And it was a hot day today, it was about 87 degrees. I did not powder this at all. It has like a little bit of shine, but nothing substantial. It's just really easy to apply. It's meant to be applied with your hands for the most part and it's supposed to just be a throw on and go. That's kind of like the whole brand of Moke makeup. It's for girls on the run who want something that's like edgy and cool and different. But with that last thing, let's hop into my cons because they kind of flow into each other even though they're the opposite. The first thing I dislike is that you really can only apply this with your hands or the silly sponge. It bums me out that you cannot use something like a beauty blender to apply this because it is water-based. My only other con is that if you have dry skin or dry patches anywhere in your face or like little baby hairs, it kind of does cling to it in a way that almost every matte foundation will. It's just a thing with mattes and whether it's a powder or a cream that's matte, you're gonna have that issue and I have it with this product and it sucks. 
But if I was to rate this, I would give it, and my dog is just, hold on. Bubba, wanna come in? Come on. Oh no, oh no. Okay, oh no, you're so cute. You're so cute. I love you. Right, what do you think? I think we should give this foundation a four out of five because there are a lot of pros to this. It does look really good. It does last long. It does feel good. And there were some cons. It's not perfect. I mean, I mean, I feel like if you have oily skin, you might really, really love this if you're looking for something that's full coverage, but you hate the feel of full coverage. This might be like your new holy grail item. But if you have really, really dry skin and you like something lightweight, I would go more with like the Laura Mercier Tented Moisturizers or the NARS Sheer Glows of the World. I would love to know what you guys thought of this. How did you guys think it looked in photos? How do you think it held up? Have you tried it yourself? If you liked the video, give it a like. If you disliked it, that's okay. Maybe just tell me why in the comments down below so I can learn from my mistakes. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye! Say 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 bye.